You've received your Projet 1200 Micro SLA 3D printer. Now follow these instructions carefully to ensure a perfect setup the first time out. Before you start your setup, you'll need a few things to go with your Projet 1200 printer. Lint-free paper towels, a pair of nitrile protective gloves, and safety glasses. To open the box, pull the grip handle tabs out and then remove the grip handles from the box on both sides. Hang on to all of the packaging material. If you have to return your printer for any reason, it has to be repackaged in the same box it was shipped in. Lift the outer box off the printer. Remove the accessories box and the upper foam insert. Remove the printer from the box. Be very careful. There, now you're ready to install the bulb. Open the accessories box and remove the USB cable, the print platform, the curing bulb, the power supply, and materials cartridge. Be sure that the plastic filler in the material support assembly is secure prior to turning the Project 1200 over. After turning the machine over, open the top right-hand door on the front. Remove the bulb from its box. Don't touch the bulb with your bare hands. Use the lint-free towel to handle it. Insert the bulb end into the curing space, being very careful not to touch the bulb or scratch the mirrors. Slide the bulb upwards to connect into the socket until it is secure. Now you can install the print platform. To install the print platform, lift the print platform clamp lever upwards. Insert the print platform under the clamp lever until it is seated. Push the lever back down to lock the print platform. Easy, right? In your web browser, type 3dscentral.3dsystems.com and click on Create an account. Your user ID will be your email address. And create a password that you can remember. Then, type in your printer's serial number, which is located at the back of your Project 1200. After you register, you should get an email confirmation with a link to the login page. From here, you can also access user guides for the Project 1200, as well as sample files and the Geomagic print software download. The next step is to download and install the Geomagic print software. From the login page, you can access the printer software download. You'll need a Windows laptop or desktop with Windows 7 or 8 installed. Select Products from the top menu, and then go to Professional 3D Printers. Now select Project 1200 from the drop-down menu. Click on the file name under the software header. Save or open the file to begin installing the software. Follow the steps in the installation wizard. Now that our software is installed, let's connect the printer. Plug the AC power cord into the wall, and then connect the power supply to the power inlet on the printer. A series of screens will appear as the printer boots up. To connect to a network, you can use either Ethernet or USB. To connect via Ethernet, plug a connected Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port. When your IP address shows on the screen, it is ready to go. To connect via USB, connect your computer to the Project 1200 using the USB cable. Wait just a few minutes as the necessary drivers install onto your machine. This is the point where you need to activate your printer. Start up the Geomagic print software on your desktop. Select Post Cure from the home page screen. Complete all of the information starting with your printer's serial number. Only complete the final box if you are a reseller. Then select OK. The next step is to install the materials.
Do not touch the materials with your bare hands. Always use protective gloves and wear safety glasses. Before you add your materials, please put the Project 1200 in exactly the location it will be in when it is being used. Do not carry a Project 1200 around with an installed materials cartridge. It could cause damage to the machine and leakage of the materials. Lift the material cartridge clamp lever upwards to raise the cartridge clamp. Fold back the material cartridge label. Insert the material cartridge into the support and under the material cartridge clamp. Make sure the cartridge is seated correctly in the pocket or else a leak could occur which will damage the Project 1200. Push the lever down to lower the cartridge clamp. At this point, go to your Geomagic Print software and check that the system can read the cartridge information before you peel off the cartridge cover. Now, carefully pull the label off the cartridge. Do not leave the build chamber door open or place the machine in direct sunlight, as this will harden the material prior to printing. Double check to make sure that there is a platform installed in the build chamber, close the door and you are ready to print. To see videos on how to use the Geomagic Print software, please visit www.3dsystems.com.